Shabbat Shalom, you guys. Um, I apologize because this week I was supposed to give you the um, preemptive um, materials and project for the week and downloads, and I didn't. It's been really hot. It's already hot, and I just didn't care to get my stuff together. So anyways, because I didn't get my stuff together, um, I don't have the materials I need for the project that I wanted to do. Go play, go. So we're not gonna do this project. This is the project we're gonna do. I need file folders. So this week I have a, um, I have a shopping list because I need a new tripod. And the tripod sucks, got tape all over it, it's pitiful. And I need file folders and I also need large construction paper because the project we're gonna do today is pretty simple. Um, once again, it's not this project but it needs large construction paper, but we're just gonna glue two pieces of regular construction paper together for the project. So anyways, this is the forerunner for this project. So I'm going to give you all the um, necessary downloads and links that you need for the project and let you know the materials. I would do a lot of prep work on this. Um, it's, it's not complicated, it just has a lot of pieces. So. Um, my suggestion is that you print your stuff out early um, and you get everything correct. I will show you in the video how I, because the Moses for this project is white. And if that's fine with you, it's fine with you. But um, I promote uh, melanated images in my household. So this is going to be the image that you print, that I'm gonna give you to print for this project. If you've got a different Moses image and you wanna print it, then that's fine. Um, but I will show you how I turn this image into this image. So um, just the techniques that I use to make his hair look more coarse or wooly. And um, yeah, so anyways. So like I said, there's a lot of pre-work that I would do. I would have your children go ahead and color this ahead of time. It depends on their age. Um, if you've got really young children, their attention span is gonna be small. So um, having them color this one day would just be one part of the project. I wouldn't have them do it all in one sitting. So color this. Um, the, oh, I'm sorry, I never showed you guys inside. So inside, on the outside it looks like You've got Moses in the tin. On the inside, you've got uh, each commandment that has its own little go. We'll go talk to Brittany. And on the inside, you have each individual commandment um, and its own little commandment be looking. So that's something else that I would also um, pre do. Um, these are five by five by three inch rectangles that you need to cut ahead of time. And um, you also need to make little arches. So I would also do that before the actual project. And I would do that, I wouldn't leave that for much of time. So another thing that you can pre-do is, I personally just use this side, which is already printed, but on this side, on the opposite side, I know it's hard to see, is um, little dotted lines. So your children can go in and write, go over there, write the um, Ten Commandments themselves. Once again, if you're gonna have them do that, I would not, especially if they're young children, I would not have them do that on the same day that you're actually gonna put the whole project together. I would have them do that ahead of time. So it's three pages for the Ten Commandments. And then, and that's all of these that are in here. And then you also have the bottom excerpt, which is Exodus. Man, sorry guys. See, I need a new tripod. This time it wasn't even my son. Can't even blame him. Ugh. Come on now, stay up. Gave you extra tape today. Okay. We're good? Sorry for kind of leaning. Anyways, it's Exodus 32, 
and that's this, and also that also has the little trace thing at the bottom. So like I said, if you're going to have young children do this, please have them do it ahead of time. They are not gonna sit through the whole project. So, um, yes, please do your free work. Um, for the actual inner 10 commandments, the little gate doors, I use just craft paper cardstock. You can use whatever you want. I will probably have my children pick their own color cardstock for the end of the side, just for the individuality of it. Um, you can pick whatever colors you want. Um, on the front, they don't have, it doesn't have to be Times New Roman. I just did it to match the front Moses. That's Times New Roman, so I wrote Times New Roman here. But you can also do it in Hebrew. You can write your numbers in Hebrew. You can also write your numbers straight in straight standard English numbers. It's up, the choice is yours. Um, so anyways, um, I think that covers most of that. The supplies you'll need for this, once again, is um, a file folder, which I don't have to show you because I only have one. So one file folder per child, which you're going to um, cut off the tabs and then cut little arches out of it. So one file folder. Um, I've got a paper trimmer, and you're going to use a paper trimmer. It's easier to use paper trimmer to cut your um, cardstock for your gatefold. Ten Commandments. So if you've got a paper trimmer, all praises. If not, then you just need a ruler to measure your um, five by five by three inch gate folds. You will need obviously scissors, glue of your choice. Um, I would say for gluing on the paper sheets that you use um, glue stick so that the glue doesn't show through. You're going to need coloring supplies. If you're going to color it the way I did, you're going to need both color pencils and you will need markers. Um, and then the printed um, sheets, which once again, I will get you the links for those. Um, another suggestion is when you print the Moses, I would, for the sake of durability, I didn't do it here, but I would, for the sake of durability, um, back him on a sheet of cardstock, or sorry, glue him onto a sheet of cardstock, or print him onto a sheet of cardstock. That way he's not so flimsy, because you've got all of this. Or you could just glue your cardstock here, because um, he's pretty flimsy, and it makes for um, a less durable project. If you're gonna use this you know, continuously over and over and over again, you'll want it to be as durable, especially with children, you'll want it to be as durable as possible. So that's the project for next week. It is our Ten Commandment gatefold with Moses on the front and our Ten Commandment gatefolds on the inside. Once again, it's a very complicated project. I suggest you do a lot of pre-work. I suggest you have your children, um, you're going to have them write their Ten Commandments, write them ahead of time. If you're going to have your children um, color Moses, color them ahead of time, and I suggest that you um, cut all your gatefolds ahead of time and it'll just make the project so much easier. Instead of taking two hours, it will take you less than an hour. Any little, uh, that is the forerunner video for our project for next Sabbath. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Shalom.